Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we're finally there. We're going to talk about slope. And slope is the amount of angle something has on it. Let's take a look at our little sledders. In this case, this fella took his sled, he sits out in the parking lot. And in Illinois, the parking lots are very flat. So in this case, he has no slope. Okay? And in that case, we would say slope equals zero. Now, in this case, this guy is sledding along nicely down the hill. In this case, we would say there is negative slope. And in fact, the more negative, the better he goes, the faster he goes. So this would be negative slope. This fella here has to draw, drag his uh, sled back up the hill because this sled slope is positive. So positive slope because from left to right, it's going up. Negative slope from left to right, it's going down. Zero from left to right, there is... There is slope of zero, and we say no slope. Now, this fella here has a bit of a problem because I have zero, I have negative, or I have positive. But what if I go too positive or too negative? Well, in that case, it's not really a positive slope or a negative slope. We'd say slope does not exist. That's different than no slope. No slope means it's flat. In this case, the slope doesn't even exist. That fella is falling, and it's going to be a bad day at the end of that day sledding. Now, we can remember slope in a number of ways. We can say rise over run. This goes back to our dogs. At one hour, it cost $3. So it was over one, up three. And then at two hours, it was over one up three more. So over one hour, up three. And so we, this dog would have had a slope of three dollars over one hour because it's rise, the amount of up or down, divided by the number of left or right. So rise or run. Now the other way to say that is X change over Y change. If you remember our dog example from earlier, one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, three dollars, six dollars, nine dollars, twelve dollars. We said this is one, 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 differences of one. These are differences of three dollars, three dollars, three dollars. And so you say the Y change, so these three dollars over the X change one hour. So that's the way we can look at it. So you can look at it graphically, or you can look at it from a table. There is another way to talk about it, and that's using the formula. If I pick either of these two points, 1, 3, and 4, 12, every point here has an x part and a y part. So at 1 is x, 3 is y, 4 is x, 12 is y. We'll call this point point number 1. So that's the x from point number 1, the y from point number 1, the x from point number 2, the y from point number 2. And I can use this formula right up here and plug them in. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we say y from the second point, 12, minus y from the first point, 3, over x from the second point, 4, minus x from the first point, 1. That brings me 12 minus 3 is 9, 4 minus 1 is 3, and not shockingly, if I reduce by dividing by 3 here, reduce my fraction, I get 3 over 1, which is exactly the same as I get regardless of the method that I use. So slope is rise over run, x change over y change, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and these are the ideas of whether slope is positive or negative. In this case, we're going up from left to right, so that's positive slope, and we get a positive 3 over 1. When I get the 
fraction down here at the bottom, it is positive 3 over 1. Because from left to right, it's moving up. The money goes up as you add more hours. All right, that slope.